Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.13.2. Now Optifine just updated today, so that means shaders just updated today. So let's go ahead and get on into it. But wait, first off a message from our sponsor, which is Game Servers. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. Again, for just $1 per month you can get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server to play with your friends. We personally use game servers and love them. That is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First and foremost, we need to download shaders. And doing that's actually pretty easy. Just go to the second link down below and it will take you here. This is actually our in-depth article on installing shaders. So if I go a little fast for you in this video or something, you can come back here and kind of walk yourself through all the steps. It's all covered here. But if you're watching the video, all you need to do is find this green download button button right here at the top like center of the page and click on that. It will then take us all over to here where we can download Silder Shaders which as we can see is already 1.13.2 compatible. Now this is my favorite shaders pack but you can install any shaders pack that you want using the exact same method that we use here. Just make sure that it is compatible for 1.13.2. Nevertheless if we scroll on down here we've got a few different options. You can look at screenshots of each and basically decide which one you want right and actually looks like screenshots aren't all loading for anything but by Vibrant shaders. So I guess that's the one we'll go with. And if we scroll down here, we have Vibrant Shaders and we have the download links right here. And I'm going to download this one right here, which is Medium Shader. So because it's recommended for recording or older PCs. And I'm recording, right? Now, most people, if you ha don't have a dedicated graphics card, are going to be working on this one right here, which is the Light Shaders, right? If you have a pretty decent system, as you can see, average FPS on a 960 is going to be 85. You might be able to do high shaders and for a 960 at 1080p on this one, you're 70 FPS with extreme. So if you have any lag with shaders, just come back here and downgrade your shaders pack. I'm going to be going with medium just for the purpose of this video. Once you click on the link there, and all we did was just click on this part of the shaders, it takes us off to AdFly where you want to wait five seconds. Don't click anything on this page. You're not a thing. Stop it. Don't click anything. All you want to click is the button in the top right that says skip ad. It'll appear after five seconds. Click on that skip ad button and it will take us to media fire. Might take us a second to do that, so wait for it. And there we go, it redirects and we can actually download Silder Shaders here. What we want to do is click on the green download button right there. See this right next to where it says Silder's Vibrant Shaders? Click on that and it will download Silder Shaders in the bottom left. You might have a pop-up pop up like this if you do just close out of it. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Optifine, which can be found at the third link down below. If you go down there, it will take you here, which is our in-depth tutorial on how to install Optifine. But if you're watching this video, again, all you need to do is click on the big green download Optifine button here, and it will take you off to this page. Now, as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.13.1. I thought this was over 1.13.2. It is. Calm down. Calm down. If you see Minecraft 1.13.2 right here, you're going to want to come down here under the first one and then click on Mirror next to the top version, right? And even if it's down here at the bottom, come down here to 1.13.2. But if you're watching this video right after it came out, click on Preview Versions. And then we can see Optifine 1.13.2 right here. Then we want to click on the mirror button next to 1.13.2 where it takes us over to our download page. We want to make sure that this in fact does say 1.13.2 right here in the uh, link we have. Click on this link and Optifine will download in the bottom left. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to keep the file. I promise it's safe as long as it ends in .jar. You see that ends in .jar there? That means this is 100% safe. It is in fact Optifine and we can keep the file. Now, if we minimize our browser, we should have Optifine and Silder Shaders on our desktop. If these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Click on the Windows icon in the top left of my screen. It's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that Windows icon and then type in Downloads exactly like this. You should then have this folder called Downloads. Open it up and inside of your Downloads folder here, you will have Silder Shaders and Optifine. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we need to go ahead and install Optifine. This is pretty easy. Just right click on it and then go to open with, and then you should have Java TM platform SE binary here. If you don't, no worries. All you want to do is go to the link in the description down below that says you can download Java. That's going to take you off here, which is our in-depth tutorial on downloading the Java development kit. The Java development kit is required for most 
Minecraft mods, pretty much every Minecraft mod, including Optifine. So you want to come down, download it here, make sure you select the right version. Basically, just go through this tutorial and it will cover everything for you. If you install that and it still doesn't work, we still have a solution for you, and that is the jar fix. The jar fix here is another in-depth article on how to fix Java. If nothing else has worked, this will fix it for you. Just download it from right here. It'll download the program directly and then run it on your computer, and bada bing, bada boom, it will work out great. There's more instructions here on this page if you need any additional help. But nevertheless, once you've done all that, you should finally be able to right-click and then open with Java TM platform SE binary here. Just go ahead and click OK on that, and boom, we get this Optifine installer. At this point, it's as simple as clicking install. It should automatically install Optifine for you, and there you go, Optifine successfully installed. If yours doesn't say this, just go my run Minecraft 1.13.2 with nothing installed, right? Just launch into vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2. Once you see the main menu, close out of it, stop it, and then come back over here and Optifine will successfully install. Go ahead and click OK here. And now we need to just go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher. Once we are in fact in the Minecraft launcher here, we should be able to go down and click the little green arrow next to the play button. And we should have an Optifine profile. See that, there it is. If you don't have an Optifine profile, don't freak out. Just click on the three little arrows up here at the uh, top right or three little lines they're not really arrows always call them they're not but click the three little lines here and then come over to where it says launch options and then you want to add a new profile you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming it that because that's the ip address for our awesome minecraft 1.13.2 and actually 1.13 plus minecraft survival server it's 100 grief protected and if you're just looking for a fun and incredible awesome minecraft survival experience in 1.13 with the turtles and the dolphins and the coral reefs and everything come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com but next to version here we want to go ahead and click on where it says latest release and we should have release 1.13.2 optifine there you see that click on that and then i'm going to change my resolution you don't have to do that but uh, i'm just doing it so you guys will be able to see and then click save in the bottom now we can go back over to the news tab here again click on the little green arrow next to the play button and this time we have play.breakdowncraft.com which as you can see is in fact 1.13.2 Optifine. Click on that, click play, and now Minecraft will open up with 1.13.2 installed and, you guessed it, Optifine installed as well. But, I thought we were doing shaders. Well, we are, but Optifine is required for shaders. So let's go ahead and get shaders installed. So doing this is pretty easy. Once you're on the main menu here, just go ahead and click on options, then click on video settings, and then you should have this shaders dot 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 button. You see that? Click on that, and you might get an error like this. Shaders are not compatible with Fast Render. Please set performance, Fast Render, to off. So let's do that. So we come over here to performance. Then we have Fast Render on right here. Click that, turn it off, click done. Come back over to the Shaders button, and boom, now we can install shaders. This is pretty easy. Just click on the Shaders folder button in the bottom left. It will then automatically open up a folder called Shaders Packs here. Take the Shaders Pack we downloaded, Silver's Vibrant Shaders, or any other Shaders Pack you have, and drag it into this Shaders Pack folder. Then we can go ahead and close out of this, and it automatically appeared in the background back here. But if we go ahead and click done, and then click shaders again, if yours didn't show up, it should be there now. Now to select this shaders pack, it's as easy as clicking on it. Now your Minecraft might freak out, it might go, I don't know what to do, it's not working, and there we go, shaders is installed. Just some notes, if you're running shaders on like the default Optifine beta version here, you probably want to make sure anti-aliasing is off, and if you have any additional issues or anything like that say like only half of your screen showing or something like that weird is happening come in here to shaders options and just mess around with the stuff in here right turn things off turn things on this can also allow you to turn things on like swaying objects right waving objects here a lot of people like this right like they like the grass to wave and stuff some people don't we can turn it off if we want to so come in here mess around with this if you have any issues but most issues are in fact with anti-aliasing here in uh, 1.13 hopefully those will be fixed once 1.13.2 is out of beta for Optifine but if we click done here we can go ahead and launch into multiplayer and look at that play.breakdowncraft.com let's go check out the server with shaders installed I've actually not done this since we rebuilt our spawn so this should be pretty flipping cool now as you can see here wow look at that we have quite the issue 
with uh, Optifine and shaders right now. Now, I actually like when issues like this happen, so let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out what is going on. Now, this is obviously going to be shaders related. I didn't have this issue before we got shaders. So let's go in here and just kind of see what's up. I'm going to go ahead, turn things off, and see if I can figure it out. I'll see you in a minute. I got it fixed. Look at this. I fixed it. It's actually really, really pretty. What was it, right? Let's go ahead and talk about it. It was the weirdest thing. And this is why shaders right now, a little bit buggy in 1.13.2, so you can't be afraid to mess around. I, I, I literally went into details, right? And I noticed that even though it was daytime on the server, I could see stars everywhere, right? If you go back and look right before the jump cut there, you'll notice that. So if you go into video settings and then go into details, there is the option for stars right up here. It was off, I turned it on, turned it back off, and it fixed it in the background just like that. And there we have it. Shaders is now installed in 1.13.2 and we even fixed an issue along the way. By the way, you might see in chat here, it says OpenGL error. That is actually nothing to do with shaders. It does it without Optifine as well. It doesn't really have any effect, but they are going to be fixing that when uh, Optifine comes out in the official beta or out of beta. As you can see, clouds are also messed up. We can go into video settings, details, and then we want clouds. Just turn them off. Right? Wait, clouds off. There we go. <laughs> Lowered them all the way down, and it was a very, very interesting. But there we go. Right now, shaders very playable, very beautiful. And wow, our new spawn looks incredible. Look at the bridge. Just look at that. I absolutely love this. I actually might use this shaders pack. This is the first time in a long time I've seen shaders and went like, that is actually absolutely stunning. Wow. But there you guys have it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below. Come join us here on play.breakdowncraft.com. Skyblock will be launching very, very soon. And currently, we are the best 1.13.2 Great Protected Survival Server. I guarantee it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. I'm Nick, and I'm out, guys. Peace.